Hi, welcome. Um, we're back on Arc Linux B. I went through all the messages and one of the message is I can't install Calibre. Now maybe this is not uh, known Calibre, so um, I don't think I've made any video about it. I'm pretty sure actually, but I've used it in the back in the days with Linux Mint for instance. Um, Calibre is something that's interesting in the sense that it, uh, it can um, transform um, text data for, for all these e-readers you have, right? You have this EPUB and Mobi, so the, those are like DocX and XLSX, right? So extensions that are uh, useful for these e-readers. And Calibre is, is the one that can all uh, can, can organize everything. It's, it's also a library. So um, here it is, Calibre. Um, in the meantime, as you know, I always do more than what the text well, the text on YouTube is gonna say, so this is discover, so update, discover, uh, or of course, just update, that's one command. And then you do the other command like up all, and then you're up to date, right? So let's do the discover this time in here. And so it's a little button, it's a little sign as well here, updates available, all you need to do is press update. All things go in the back end, so it's a graphical kind of thing. And if there are messages and there are none, you'll see some messages down here. So the ETC scale that we have on Article Links will show here. That's great. So we've done a graphical user interface update, right? With Discover. That's something new. Now, Calibre. Calibre. Well, basically, um, we can actually see if we find something about it. So. This discover thing is, is interesting because you can actually also look here, Calibre, and see if it's with one L, two Ls, let's see, enter. Calibre is one L, 113 ratings, the one-stop solution to all your ebook needs. Okay, so let's make that bigger. It's one stop, uh -huh, uh -huh. catalog your book. So at some point in time, I had a lot of books. So this was a great tool to actually put in all the books you find on the internet that are free or the ones that you bought. And they can all go in here and have a place in this, this catalog, all right? Different views and it's just awesome. It just works great. So installing should be no more, no, not simpler than just click on the button in this case on Plasma and it's going to install or not and it's installed. Then the user on the forum says, I can't launch it. So let's see what's going on with Calibre at this point in time. So it can happen that an uh, application is at some point in time not actually starting. I don't see it in here as well. So there might be a trouble with a, this particular application for the moment. So for the moment is the 9th of December, okay? always helps to help yourself. Um, so Calibre, as, as it's uh, as, as, as only application, does not seem to exist as an application. It's called a Calibre Alternatives. It says here, help, get, set, etc. either Python 2 or Python 3. So I'm guessing something is up with Calibre. So next thing you do is Ctrl G, for instance, which is my Chromium. AOR Calibre, is it on AOR? Where's it coming from? I don't know. Uh, what's all this rubbish? <sighs> okay, whatever. Yes, I agree. So it's coming from community package, right? So Calibre should work. It's not from the AOR, but we can always have a look. Yay Calibre, how are you? So community. Calibre common that's installed. This is not installed, it seems. Number one is not installed. What's this? Whoa. Okay. So whatever we've just clicked on, on discover, is not the application, I think. So let's install this as well. So this is how my mind works and this is how your mind should work. Figure it out. And there's a Calibre Python 3 as well, experimental port. There, and then we start with the AOR. So let's stay out of the AOR until everything works, all right? That's what I would do. All right, 
Let's first see if we have the application Calibre. That's a little bit, lots more than we have now. So with Calibre, uh -huh, then it is starting. So English is fine by me, but with lots and lots of other languages. Calibre library is great for me. And next is, yeah, then you choose your uh, device, right? You choose whatever you have. Cobo is here in Belgium. I have a Sony. And there is also the Amazon one. And I can't remember which one I bought because we have two readers here, which is actually great. If you're on holiday, then I read my Python books on the beach. Next, congratulations, blah, 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 finish, fine. And then we get this great tool. So this is how I get everything installed by analyzing figuring out, hey, what happened? Because this cover is not cutting it, right? We, we just saw it, we just experimented. Maybe they forgot something as a dependency or anything like it, but I don't care, I've got it, right? So Calibre is here, I can add my books, just add books from a single directory and so on and so on. So on. I've spent hours in this thing and it's, it's a great thing, it's a great tool and you can copy paste um, or move your ebooks to to and from right and um, so get books here as well i believe we get a look inside search i thought there was something free but it's it has been a while since i've used it um, and here's the cache the calibre library would save everything contact etc so i'll let you discover this one that's up to you entirely the question was how to install it and this is how it's done all right Enjoy.